Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New Realm Japan. Today, I'm here with Alejandro, aka Okawari TV. Hey, salut! Hey. Alejandro here runs a little uh, drinking tour here in uh, mm -hmm. Kichijoji, right? So tell me a little bit about your tour. So I kind of started this about six, seven years ago, and it was just like a little hobby. I just take people out, show them around like the different izakayas, okay. which izakayas are like Japanese bars. And here, especially in Kichijoji, as you can see in the background, we're in one of the bars right now. Yeah, it's just start off as a little hobby where I just show people around, and then over time, it just became something a lot bigger to the point where it just, instead it became a hobby, it became like a full-time job. So I just said, all right, I'm just gonna continue and just try it out and keep going and working at it. You know, I'm at where I'm at today now, and it's just like pretty busy. Uh, basically, the focus is to kind of get people away from the tourist spots mm. and take them to more of the local location, off the beaten path, places that you don't get to really see okay. in Tokyo. Okay. You know, especially like on Google Maps or any Lonely Planet will ever tell you. Okay. Like I take people like to the local local spots yeah. here in Tokyo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Alejandro, why should people join your tour? So, as I kind of explained a little bit earlier. I basically take people off the beaten path, mm. places that you don't get to see on like Google Maps mm. or any like Lonely Planet or tour book. Yeah. Um, my goal is for when someone joins the tour, is to not feel like a foreigner, it's like mm. they feel like a local. Okay. You know, you come to the local spots, you meet local people, you have some unique local drinks, or just be like have something like this, whichever. But that's kind of my my goal is for everyone, someone to ex enjoy themselves and just feel like they're seeing something they don't see on, mm -hmm. in Japan or okay. Tokyo specifically. But don't take my word for it. I actually have someone with me who's coming back again for round two doing the bar crawl. Uh, and I guess I'll just ask you specifically, you know, what made you want to join the tour? And what did you think about it after you've done it? Well, I, uh, I first heard about the tour through social media, scroll around on Instagram and start seeing it pop up. Okawari TV, local Japanese bar tour kind of thing. In a spot like Tokyo where there's dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of bar tours going on any given night of the week, you know, it gets, you see a lot of the same kind of stuff. I mean, you can go stand on a corner in Shinjuku for a few minutes and you'll see like six different tour groups form up. And then looking at your website there, seeing that it's Kichi Joji, you're like, where even is that? So, and you know, you, you hop on the train, you get way outside of the main local touristy area that everybody yep. goes to, and that's it, and you, you, you roll up. It's, it feels like you're going to like, not like a mom and pop shop, but like, you know, that kind of spots where buddy's going to work, he finishes work, and he's gonna go crush a couple drinks with his buddies. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's, it's just, it, it's a whole totally different vibe than what you'd get in any kind of the normal night lifey areas in like main parts of Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's, uh, it's such a, an appealing thing. It's just going out, hanging out with people. It's pretty well, like, especially off right on the tour. Like people who go to the tour, they just all want to do the fun, same as fun stuff, and just go have a good time and just chill. And you go out, and the the, the locals that are in these bars, that's all they're looking to do. Just go out, have a good time, and chill out. I think that's what's super super appealing about it all for sure. And I appreciate the kind words. Uh, kanpai, cheers, kanpai. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> So Alejandro. Why Kichijoji? What makes Kichijoji so unique and special? So I think kind of going back to how everything started, like I had a couple of friends that lived here in Kichijoji and then we would just come out here and hang out, drink, socialize. To me, Kichijoji is actually kind of my first home in Tokyo and I would just go to the izakayas here, drink with the locals, meet some, make some new friends, whichever. When I moved to Kichijoji myself, because I was living here for about four and a half years, I moved here and then um, I started having friends come in to visit me and then they would just kind of, I would show them around. So I would just show them around, take them to all the bars and everything and they really liked it. And I remember one friend just suggested like, hey, you should do this into a tour. Like you do such a great job as a tour guide and I think that would be a really fun thing for people to show off. And at first, I didn't really know much about Kichi Joji. And then over time, I talked to the locals, I got to meet the bar owners, got to go to the other bar staffs, whichever, and meet, hang out with them. You know, they taught me, taught me a little bit of history about Kichi Joji, you know. One thing about Kichi Joji is people always say it's the number one place to live in Tokyo, mm. you know. Besides that, you got everything you want from like shopping, parks, nightlife, restaurants, bars, whatever like that. 
you got everything here in Kichijoji. You need not, uh, plus as well. It's like a straight shot from Shibuya to here, and then Shinjuku to yeah. here as well. Yeah. So you can take the train directly here, and they're both about 15, 20 minutes. Mm. Even on weekends, like 10 minutes, even faster. So yeah. So. I mean, those are all the things that appeal to me to Kichijoji, but like specifically with Harmonica Alley, I think there's a unique charm to it that you don't get to really see and enjoy compared to like maybe Golden Guy or Ebisu Yokocho or even Shibuya Yokocho. I mean, they all have their own vibes, but I just feel like the people here, they're not used to having like foreigners or tourists around here. So when the foreigners come through, it's kind of like, oh, you know, you made your way over here, interesting. Mm. And then you never know, it's just you meet different characters and they'll talk to you and it's just something new every night to see and explore. So that's kind of why I like Kichijoji. Plus, it's very inexpensive to drink here mm. compared to like you paying a thousand yen for a cover oh, yeah. charge in Golden Guy or even like another, another thousand yen for a drink. Here is just pretty straightforward. A drink will be 500 yen or maybe 700 yen, but no cover charge at all, mm. you know? I mean, granted, there's over 80 bars in this area, so maybe some might do a cover, but realistically, a lot of them won't do it. Okay. Just only downside is just, you know, if you don't know Japanese, you're gonna have to translate and figure it out mm. on your own. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I like Kichijoji, and that's why I like doing the tours here. Yeah. That's why people gotta check it out and, you know, join and see what it's like. So, yeah. All right, Alejandro, enough talking. Let's go get fucked up. All right, let's, let's fucking go. do it. Let's go. Cheers. Salud. No problem. You have to uh, beat me out, too. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Alejandro meets up with you at the station, and he's going to take you to the nearest family mart to pick up a special item. Now we're getting up our anti-hangover drinks. We're getting these, because I always have to recommend to get these before you start drinking, because you will not get a hangover the next day, and it's guaranteed to work. He's had it before. Yeah, those. He's had it before, he's had it before, he's had it before, it works. Alright. So yeah, yeah. Try them out. Great. If y'all wanna reach out to me and do the tour, you're welcome to reach out on my Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all under uh, the name Okawari TV. But of course, I have my email for my website. You guys reach out on my website, okawaritravels.com. You can email me on my website, see all that stuff. And I'm pretty quick to respond in about like less than a day, less than a day and everything. Uh, even say I'm on Instagram. Instagram is the easiest way to reach out to me. So reach out to me there. We'll have a good time. And I'll show you the local lifestyle. Thanks for watching.